15 seconds and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Noah's Goes R, America's most advanced weather eye in the sky, elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. He has gone close of control. Which response looks good. Now flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. Body rates look good. Booster has throttled down as scheduled. Response looks good. Roll program is complete. Body rates controlling down the middle. Listening to the voice of Marty Malinowski. Mach 1. Standing by to pass max through Q. max Q. This is the maximum aerodynamic pressure area. When mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the Marty rocket's velocity and resistance good. created by the atmosphere. NASA's Atlas V Booster has begun throttling back up. We're done and Booster response looks good. Goes our spacecraft. We continue we into flight. The uh, United Launch Alliance Atlas booster doing its job. One minute, 50 seconds into flight, yeah, the first two solid this. rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed by about a second and a half later by boosters three and four. Coming up on SRB jettison, and we have the first pair and the second pair. Looks like a good separation. About 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Standing by for Space booster Space engine cutoff. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. Standing by in about six seconds for the Centaur's second stage to separate from the booster. Indication of AC set. Good separation. And locks pre start underway. GN2 purge firing is as well. And we have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. This uh, Centaur single RL10C engine burn. Producing 22,900 pounds of thrust will burn for just under eight minutes.